Neil, congratulations. What a performance that was to beat home favourite John Higgins. You're into your first ranking final in over a year. How good does that feel? Yeah, it feels fantastic. It's nice to see the um, all the hard work I've been putting in the last couple of months, um, you know, really pay off. Uh, you know, the first four frames today, um, you know, I, I don't think I've played you know much better than that really. Especially the occasion who I was up against, and you know, John in front of his home crowd as well. Um, it's important to kind of like maybe play that kind of snooker. Uh, that way, you get a bit of them on your side, and they really appreciate what you're doing as well. So. Yeah, four 0 up, and then um, you know felt great at the interval, obviously. And I came out and had a had a good chance to clear up for five nil, which probably would have ended the match. And um, yeah, just kind of like Mr. It was an easy red, but it was slight a slight cutback, and uh, you know just sort of dripped over the hole. And then you know four one, and then I had a good chance in the next to counter clearance again. And Mr. Pink shouldn't miss it, but it is missable bridging on the cushion. Um, I think it hit the jaw about seven eight times and. Um, yeah, and then all of a sudden it's 4-2. Um, next frame didn't do a lot wrong and it's 4-3. So all of a sudden I'm 4 nil up, absolutely flying. And then, you know, John's come back at me. You know, he's the champion he is. He's, he's got that in his locker to come back against you. I think you've seen it many times in the past when players have, you know, played out of their skin against him early in a match and he's responded really well. So i um, really happy with how I won the last two frames there. I thought I did it in, in a convincing manner. Yeah, is it just as pleasing as the blistering start, which, as you say, is an important against a player like John Higgins, but are you just as pleased with the fact that you, you held yourself together when he came back? Yeah, I think the most important frame was the one to go 5-3 because um, you know, I knocked in a really good, I think, 60-odd break or something and then unluckily went into the pack off the blue, didn't land on anything, played safe, went for a long red and then I, he missed it, killed the frame off. The following frame, I got in with a really good chance, a fantastic plant down, down the side rail, um, and the balls were really awkward, so I made a good 40 odd from from where the balls were, and then Mr. Tricky Red in the middle, and carelessly left him a plant actually that um, you yeah, know was a bad shot on my part. Uh, the main thing I was thinking on that on the red into the middle was whatever you do, just don't leave him anything. You know, the, the pot was probably about a five out of ten pot anyway. And then um, when he's got that chance and he's missed the black, um, yeah, obviously over the moon to see him miss that. It's quite a partisan home crowd tonight. We could hear them from the press room as he was coming back at you. Does, does that kind of spur you on just as much as, as him? I suppose it's a great atmosphere to play. In. Yeah, I think you know I've um, you know I've experienced playing John in his home uh, home ground before. Um, yeah, I think last time um, you know I beat him in the semis of the Grand Prix here in 2009, which was six five on the black, and you know the crowd were fantastic again. You know the, the crowd are very fair, obviously really supportive of John. But if the other guy plays good snooker too, then they're really appreciative of that as well. So, you know, I've played you know I played Ronnie Jimmy at the Masters before, so I, I know what it's all about. And you know the m most important thing is is that if you play really good snooker, then they'll appreciate it too. And we all know you're, you're very measured with your approach to, to things, and uh, you kind of look at things right in terms of dropping out of the top sixteen, but. Do, is it nice just to, to prove to people that you know you're twentieth in the world, but you're certainly not that in, in your, the standard of your play to do that? Yeah, I, th I think so. I, I don't think any probably any player looks at my position and thinks, "Oh, well, Neil's kind of, you know, that's where he is now." I, I think I've shown, you know, even in the UK Championships, it took a you know a huge effort from Mark Joyce to beat me, and um, even a couple other tournaments this season, I've lost the side as well. I didn't do a lot wrong, so. Um, the game's there, especially the last two months. Last two tournaments has been fantastic. It's more the way I want to play, very heavy scoring, really good long potting. It's probably the most important part is being back to um, you know deadly when my hand's on the table that you know I'm looking to clear the table. So that's the most important thing that I've got that back now. So you're playing tomorrow. You'll be a big favourite, but um, I'm, I'm sure he'll kind of feel that there's nothing to lose, so it'll be, um, it'll be a tough game. Yeah, it's, any final's always going to be tough. I think, um, you know, he, he obviously had a great win today against Judd. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I always felt um, probably four years ago, I thought he was going to be the next Chinese player to, to win a ranking event. So um, he sort of went off the radar a bit where he got a, a few technical problems in his game, but he seems to have, you know, got rid of those now. And, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. I've, I've won big tournaments before where I've been the heavy favourite. I've won them before where I've been the underdog. So, you know, it's going to be nothing new to me. Um, I'm just going to go out there and, and try to play really good snooker. And how much would it mean to you to capitalise on your form that you say you've been building over the last few months and lift that Stephen Hendry trophy tomorrow? Yeah, it would be awesome. Obviously, um, I've won three of my ranking titles in, in Scotland before, so, yeah, it would be, be fantastic to add a fourth. Best of luck. Cheers, thanks.